My name is Greg Wishmeyer. I'm 40 years old. I was a diabetic. The day I walked in the door, I was 308 pounds. I believe that was like March 8th, 2012. You know, I've been heavy, I've been lighter, I've been heavier, I've been lighter. I mean, I've gained weight three or four times throughout my life and I got almost 330 pounds. And finally, I said enough's enough. Through my involvement uh, in the Physician Leadership Academy, uh, I was posed with the uh, opportunity of creating a patient-centered medical home. Traditional uh, family practice medicine was primarily a silo type of uh, delivery care system, whereas medical home has really integrated our delivery system as a, a function of a team, providing all the services that uh, should surround that patient uh, in their home environment. I, I came as a routine you know, appointment to see Dr. Bussey and uh, then I heard, then they were telling me about this program they were starting where I could come in here and basically have a free dietitian who would uh, kind of help me along the way. What's nice about this program is he can say, hey, Cora, uh, would you visit with this patient? So I can educate right there on the spot. I can grab a label, show them the sodium content um, in the can of beans versus a uh, frozen bag of beans. Um, it helps them to understand it more when they have hands on and they can look at it and see um, see it in black and white to see it for themselves. They taught me here the healthy eating. They told me what to eat, what not to eat pretty much. Salt contents, everything like that in foods. I mean when I go buy food now, the first thing I look at is the label on the, on the package. The foundation of a patient centered medical home is co-location. The provider sits in the pod with the rest of the staff, so we have one uh, provider, two CMAs per provider, and then we have one uh, patient service rep per pod. Everybody is together, which really does promote the teamwork environment. Some of the other things that we have done is implemented the huddles. Office um, shuts down for um, 20 minutes. We usually do it about 20 to 12 every day. So we're using those opportunities to outreach to patients who are not here in the office, but are still responsible to the patient-centered medical home. It really promotes teamwork. Everybody gets a say. Everybody gets to be part of it. Any miscellaneous items? Any it really does work. It really helps to plan accordingly. Um, you know, coordinate care for our patients. Uh, just troubleshoot for the day. My son kind of encouraged me to do it because here he knew his dad was really heavy and. Yeah, it wasn't being a lot of fun. When Greg came in over, well over a year ago, um, he had made the appointment to see Dr. Bussey. Um, he made it specifically to investigate weight loss, to look at um, having bariatric surgery. We introduced Greg to uh, Cora, our care coordinator. And my goal for Greg was to meet with Cora, talk about lifestyle modifications. How can we work on diet, weight loss, exercise? Greg and I started out uh, talking. Um, you know, he still wasn't sure in the beginning if this was for him, but he thought he wanted to try to lose the weight on his own. It took me, it took a couple times to come and visit her before I really caught on. If you ask her, she can say I'm pretty stubborn. You know, to be honest with you, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's just really awesome to see these people who really want to help themselves and to be able to educate them um, to help themselves. Um, you know, we continue to see great outcomes from this program, uh, keeping track of our people. Um, you know, it's just a really good way to care for our patients. I look at this as like, a, it's kind of like my personal, my personal trainer, my personal coach, pretty much. I mean, I've always called her my coach, and uh, Cora's done a wonderful job with me. I mean, she's the one that calls me up and says, hey, Greg, how you doing? I mean, she worried about me more than probably she needed to worry about me. We do a pre-visit call before all adult physicals. Um, either the RN or some other staff member here in the office will call them and update their charts, update every element of their chart beforehand. Ask them a series of questions. Um, you know, that really helps the doctors. The chart's updated, ready to go, so when the patient comes in, they can be more focused on visiting with the patient. Every time I see Greg, I mean, it, it's, just, it's even emotional to me to talk about it, because um, he has done so well. Yes, I've provided the information, um, but it's been a team effort. We've worked together. Well, my future is looking skinny. I have no, I have no wants to go back to the way I was. No wanting to get on the floor, never to get back up. Today, I'm roughly about 198, 198 pounds. I want to look good without my shirt on. I want my kids to be proud of me when they're hanging out with their dad. I, I believe coming here to see Cora and Dr. Bussey may have saved my life. 
just just for the fact that I could have had a heart attack anytime. I'm five foot six, 330 pounds, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I mean, I had all the makings to be a dead man. And I feel like a 20-year-old man now. I mean, as long as they'll have me, I plan on coming back.